Thank you, worship team. God richly bless you and replenish you. Um, we want to go to God's word this morning. I want to introduce myself and say that I'm Zachary Moravi, and I love the Lord as my savior. Uh, I'm a married man uh, to one wife. I'm married to Catherine. Uh, we have four uh, nations in our house. Amen. We want to get into the word of God this morning. And uh, I want us to go to our scripture, which is as Isaiah, Isaiah chapter number 40 and verse number 31. It says, but those who wait for the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope in, will gain strength and renew their power. They will lift up their wings and rise up close to God. Like eagles rising towards the sun, they will run and not become weary. They will walk and not grow tired. Okay, this is amplified version, and it has a lot of explanation. But that is the word for this year, for Deliverance Church Ministry, worldwide, that those that hope in the Lord. And as we look at that scripture this morning, or this afternoon, I want us to share together the power in the word of God. I want us to share together the power in the word of God. Now, when you look at that scripture, it is talking about those who wait upon the Lord. And the reason why I've specifically chosen Amplified Version is because it goes beyond to say those who look for, those who, who hope for. Maybe we can return the scripture briefly, the first part. It is talking about those hoping in the Lord, who expect look for, or who hope in him. I specifically want to rain on the word hope. When I look at what God is saying through prophet Isaiah, I am seeing a scenario whereby you are expected to mount up. And our general overseer has spoken to us in the Deliverance Church Ministry and he has said, this is the year of mounting up. But going back to the word hope, is before you mount up, because when I look at the word mounting up, I'm seeing like Kwenda Hewani. So before Kwenda Hewani, you need some power. Vanessa, as if you will. See, before you get into the air, you need something to lift you up. So when I look at that word, I see a hope, and to me, hope is like the powering element of you mounting up. That God is saying, when people hope in me, their hope will lift them up. And lifting up is not an easy thing. And this year, we are going to mount up. And it has been said, and we have received the word. So the hope is what is uh, the fearing power. The hope in the Lord. The, the, regardless of your circumstances, regardless of your situations, when you look at the hope and you hope in the Lord, then you definitely are going to mount up. I also looked at a scenario of an aeroplane. All of us have seen an aeroplane. Even if it's not at a cross range, you have seen them moving within the skies. And when, uh, before an aeroplane goes up, and it becomes like horizontal. Is this horizontal or vertical? Horizontal. Yeah, you know, like it is lying flat on the air. It has a moment of taking up. And it goes on a tarmac like a, a, a vehicle. But it goes at such a speed that at some point, it leaves the tarmac and it gets into the air. And when God is telling us to mount up, I want you to take yourself in a position of an aeroplane that needs to leave the, the, the tarmac and get into the air. 
and you cannot attest to me, maybe those who have been in the airport, there is such a noise, there is such commotion to the people outside. The people inside are comfortable, they have no issue. But the people outside, they can tell that there is something happening. A lot of noise, a lot of force. Why? Because the many tons being carried by this plane, they have to get into the air, and there are no two ways. So God is saying that this year of 2021, we are going to mount up. You may ask yourself how, but if a plane which carries like 100 tons is able to mount up into the air, why not you? So there are no two ways we are going to mount up. And that is why today we want to look at the power in the word of God. And as we make reference to this word, we are going to look at many other words which God has given to us, either at our personal closet or through servants of God. But in the big picture in our ministry, deliverance church ministry, and I know even other ministers have the word, I want us to heed on that word. And we see what does God say when he says that we are going to mount up. I know we are coming from an year which was very dramatic. Maybe I, I would say it was dramatic for lack of a better explanation. But so much have, has happened in the previous year. People have found themselves out of job. People have found themselves out of uh, a habitable place. They have nowhere to sleep. People have found themselves no, with no food. People have found themselves not able to, to finance very basic things. But even if we are coming from such a situation, and I am sure that restoration happened, God is saying, regardless of the weight you could be carrying, there is power in my word. He is saying, Serve my, my children, there is power in my word. And whenever I speak, it is only that word working in your life. And before you realize, you already what the word said you will be. So, I would want you now to focus on the power in the word. Ningetaka utoe akili yako kufanya maesabu mingi ya how will I mount up? I have so much weight. You know, I have been held down for so many years. Then corona came and I was flattened on the floor. You will still mount up. You will still mount up. Look at your neighbor in the, behind the mask and tell them, you will mount up. Yes, encourage them. They will mount up. Regardless of the weight, you will mount up. So, each year, based on the word I've shared with you, each year in the River and Church ministry, we are always given a word which God releases through a servant. And the reason why we are given this is that it acts as a guiding light or it acts as a light guiding us in our spiritual walk. Sometimes we take it within the calendar year, but even beyond it still works. So we are given this to guide us in our spiritual work or spiritual walk. Why does God do this? God does this because he's all much aware that what is ahead of us can only take the word to overcome. The reason why God releases the word. Every year we have a word. And within the month, God also speaks to us directly. Why? Because God knows the things ahead of us. Where we are headed as his children, as believers, where we are headed, they are turbulent waters. And we have been on this earth for some time. And we know even when God speaks, things still happen. But what we are saying is that God prepares us in advance. God is omniscience or om omniscience, either of the two. God knows all things. And therefore, he desires that we be properly equipped by releasing his word to us much in advance before the happenings of life. That God will have seen the end from the beginning. Right now, God is able to see another 2,000 years. As the much we can see is maybe today. Even tomorrow we don't know. So God says, I will keep on releasing the word. I will keep on placing the word upon my people. Then when men, when men and women realize the power in my word, then their lives changes forever. So he sees the happenings in advance. He is able to tell two years to come what will befall you. Three years to come what will happen. Then he releases the word. Ours is to accept the word and internalize the word and make the word fight for us. And you know, I feel a lot of weight 
in my heart. When I realize that there is so much power. Brethren, there is so much power in the word of God. But we are just, we just take it like, you know, imesemwa, natumenyamaza, na life continues as normal. No, there is so much power. So, share with me this burden. That it is the high time we position ourselves and take the power in the word. Use the power in the word. Because I can tell you this, and maybe you might, you might have been doubting. At what point does the word of God start having effect in my life? At what point exactly does it start working? The minute you hear the word. The minute you hear the word. Either you are reading or you are being preached to. The minute you hear the word. Then you personalize that word. And you put it in. It is start working. It is start working at that particular time. You have so many financial burdens. The minute you take the word, it is start working that, that time. Sahio, sahio. So I have this weight upon my heart that how we could get a revelation, myself included, that we know that the power is so much, dunamis, the power is so much that God is saying, my children, take my word. Stop running up and down. Take my word. My word is powerful. My word is able. My word will bring down mountains. It will pull down a stronghold. Take my word. Take my word. One as if you will. Let us take the word. Sinikweli jamen. Wacheni tutukwe ili neno. Let us take the word. And the word will release a lot of power in our lives. So, God has concern. You know, like when he releases his word at a corporate level or at individual level, we don't take it as absolute. You know, absolute is when you take something in whole. The opposite of that is, is partial. Partial is when you take a, a bit of it. You know, unakata kidogo, unasema, iyo sitaki, lakini nimekata ndiyo yangu. So God is very, very concerned, brethren, that he's wondering, whenever I release the word, why don't my people just form a culture of taking the entire of the word and making use of that word? Why do they take pieces? Because when you take pieces, it doesn't help you. And even if it helps you, it helps you partly. So God is saying, take it absolutely. Take the whole of it. Consume the whole of it. Then it will help you. And it will go on beyond what you thought. Beyond what you imagined. Beyond what you have seen. Even what you have experienced in the past. God is new every day. So, brethren, let us leave the business of partial taking of the word. Partial allocation of the word. The word is released. We don't want to forget and go back to the kawaida business. We don't want to receive the word. Like now Isaiah 40, that one. That word is so, so powerful. If you took time, and I would like you to do this after the service, when you go home, take time, have a Bible study, particularly for that word, and see the power in that word. When you, when you read the logos, you know, when they are, when they are written, they are logos. But the rema part of it, because God is interested in the word working in your life. Sometimes there may not be so much difference between what we see written in the Bible and what is written in the novel. But the difference comes in, the ones written in the Bible, they go beyond the logos and they become rema. And that is where now the difference comes in, the power of God at work in our lives. Maybe I'll ask briefly, we get back to the scripture, Isaiah 40, verse number 31. These ones are very powerful, but... So God is trying to say, kuna maali tumetoka. Kuna maali watu wangu mumetoka. Kuna hali zimewasonga. That is why he's starting with the but. Anasema, ilakini kwa uko. Anasema, but those who wait upon the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope in him, will gain new strength. Just look at that. New strength. And renew their power. Just look at that also, renewing your power. They will lift up their wings. Of course, we know we don't, uh, physically, may, human beings don't fly, but birds fly, and other things fly. But God is saying, in his revealed word, they will lift up their wings. And, let's go on. 
and rise up close to God. I would like you to take these words. Have some time in the evening and study these things pole pole bila haraka. Like eagles rising up towards the sun. They will run and not become weary. They will walk and not grow tired. The main reason why we run up and down so much looking for solutions, it is because we don't realize the much power held in the word of God. The ability of the one to solve all things, not some of the things. God's ability to solve all things. But because sometimes we don't realize this, we are running, we are up and down looking for solutions. Ile kazi mungu ambao amekupea, amekupea kule ofisini. Badala kutumainia mungu, wewe ukombioni, ukitafuta vitu zako. Mahali mungu amekupatia familia, ukopale na buwanako, ukopale na bibi yako, na watoto wako. Badala ya kuamini neno la buwana, wewe unaangalia kwa macha ya kimwili, na unaanza kukimbia. Mungu naona tukombioni, mungu na tuhurumia na sindwa. Sasa hawa watu, watamaliza kukimbia sangapi. When will we settle and take the word? It is able to settle all those things that are making you run. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It is able, believe me, I'm believing with you on the word. It will settle all things, the ones that are making you run, run up and down. So it is God's desire that we don't run up and down so much. His word is holistic. Just as I have said that uh, the word of God should be taken absolutely. The whole of it. So I'm saying that it is holistic. It addresses in entirety. Inafanya kila kitu. Kama ni magonjwa, inaponya kila kitu. Kama ni fedha unaitaji, inakupatia fedha zote ambazo unaitaji. Haikupati fedha nusu, inakuachia nusu. When you take it, and it is holistic. So this is God's desire. God is always on the go. And is ready to release a word for the occasion. Or for any situation in our lives. But this also depends with our realization. Or it depends on how we take it. It depends on how we realize. Or lack of realization on the effect of the word of God. Like now, for instance, we have just come from the year 2020. And we had a word of God. And the word of God in the year 2020 was saying, we will get restored. And restoration will not just happen. But it will be restored until it will be seen by people. That is what it meant by demonstration. How much did we take the word of 2020? Maybe it's a time to do some review. But God said we will be restored. Personally, I, I believe I've been restored. Personally, I believe it can even be seen. I don't know about you. But God is asking us, how did we take 2020? Because now that will give us a foundation of how we move on to 2021. If you review 2020 and you see it is not aligning with what I'm saying here, then you need to revise that. If you did it and you took it well and it went into your life and you have seen some changes, then you need to improve more. But the review of 2020, how did we take the word? How did I take the word? Did I just listen to the word at the beginning of 2020? And then I just went back to the normal business. But then God is saying, if you review and see how you handled it, those who did not do according to the word, then you need to change the direction. Those who took the word and ran with it, and they can say, indeed, I have seen God. Then it is your time to take this now and get into a higher level. So, when we look around the world, and I had shared this briefly when we were starting, is that we see God releasing various ones in different ministries. And it doesn't mean that God has different agendas. God has one agenda for the body of Christ. But the reason why he releases all those ones in different ministries, which God has put within the body of Christ, it is for the purposes of showing us that he thinks about us. He cares about us. He is ready to guide us in our work. That is why he releases the word. So that we can conquer the future. We can conquer the unseen. So that we can bring down all the forces and the powers of darkness. So when the word is pronounced at our closet or either in a plenary place like this, 
It would just look like written word. But when we internalize, it makes all the difference. God wants us to realize the life in the word. The word carries life. And when the word carries life, that means power. Because life is power. And death is the opposite of it. So God wants us to realize that there is a lot of life in the word. And the reason why he doesn't, uh, the reason why he doesn't generalize the word. When we are given this word like now, 2021, we are told that this is the year of mounting up. All of us here, we are so many of us here. When I look down here and up there, we are so many. But do you know what? The mounting up to each and every one of us is personal. The way you will mount up is not the way your neighbor will mount up. One is as if you And that is why God releases words to various places, in various ministries, so that God can show people, I am ready to guide you. But you have a personal responsibility of taking the word and personalizing it. Uh, why do I say this? You will find some people mounted up by the end of the year, and some did not mount up. Why? Because mounting up is not general. You need to personalize it. God is very concerned. Let us personalize this word. And God wants us to realize that there is power in the word. Let us look at John 10.10. 10. There is life and power in the word. And it is actual life. The thief, com the thief comes only, not, only in order to steal, kill, and destroy. I came that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. There is power in the word. The power in the word brings life, as you can see in John 10.10. 10. So this is what God wants us to get revelation about. And as I am here, I'm asking God, oh God, give me a revelation. Give me a realization to realize the power in your word. Jesus is telling us that I have done away with the stealing, killing, destroying. I have brought life. Life in the word. The power in the word of God. So the word is regenerating. Its purpose is to assure that there is continuity even where things seem non-existent. This is the power in the word. Even when you see like, even after the word has been released to you, and you have received the word of mounting up, maybe probably by June, July, you cannot see any single sign that there is mounting up. Brethren, I want to tell you, God wants to have to realize that the word is regenerating. Regenerating is whereby things are happening. Even when you cannot see anything in the physical, even when things are non-existent, just know that his word is reactivated. His word is working every day. And even if you can't see anything in the physical, it will come to be. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 55, verse number 10 and 11. Brethren, the word is working, whether you can see it physically or not physically. The word is at work. For as the rain and snow come down from the heaven and do not return there without watering the earth, making it bare and sprout, and providing sin to the sower and bread to the eater. So will be my word, be which goes out of, my, out of my mouth. It will not return to me void. It says useless without result. Without accomplishing what I desire and without succeeding in the matter for which I sent it. Brethren, the word is at work, and it is active. And God is saying, the word will return to him after it has accomplished the result. When God says that I'm giving the word for the year, it means that even if you are in November, and you cannot see any evidence, God is saying, the word by the close of that first of December, this year, the word will have returned to him, with the result upon your life. And he's saying, I am God, and I release the word for this particular purpose. The word is at work. The word is at work, and it is changing our lives and our generations forever. Job 14, verse number 7 up to 9. The word is at work. Even when things are looking dead, the word is at work. For there is hope for a tree. If it is cut down, that it will sprout again. I'm sure all of you can picture that now. A tree has been cut down, and even at some point, it has even been overshadowed by soil. 
maybe there is erosion, and the stump goes below the, the, below the soil, and that the, the shoot of it will not cease to fail. But there is no such hope for man. Though its roots grow old in the earth, and its stump dies in the dry soil, yet at the scent of water, sasa hili ni neno la Mungu linalinganishwa na you know kama kunusa maji as the scent of water the stump of the tree will flourish and bring forth spring sprigs and shoot like a seedling bwana yesu asifiwe though you cannot see any sign though you cannot hear anything god is saying as the scent of my word every situation in your life it arises and the result will be seen bwana yesu asifiwe so let us take this word. The work of the word. It's not seasonal, but it is continual. So, meaning that even when things are so quiet, even when you not, can, cannot see any sign, it, is so, it shows that the word continues, and it continues, and it is not seasonal. At the point of it sprouting in your life, it will sprout. Nothing will stop it from sprouting. Your neighbors would have sprouted in January, but yours will sprout in November. Why? Because your seasons are different. But the word has been continual. The word has been working. And we need to believe in the power in the word. God wants us to come back to our senses or back to ourselves. He wants us to realize ourselves. And with the help of the Holy Spirit, we live in the word. Let us not live outside the word. When you don't take, our, when you don't take the word fully, or we don't take it absolutely, or we don't take it holistically, then meaning, when we take the partial, we are living outside the word. We are living outside the borders of the word. But God's plan is, we are inside the word. So he's saying, by the help of his Holy Spirit, we come back to our senses. We come back to ourselves and live within the word. God is sympathetic. As I felt in the spirit when I was preparing this message, God is very, very sympathetic. And mostly he's sympathetic with the believers. He's not even very sympathetic with the outside world. But he has a plan for them. But God is sympathetic. Why? God is saying, he has seen us run so much. We look so much worn out. Yet, we have word to run into. And the one he has given us is waiting for us. The options we have run out to, the options we have run out to take, they are not availing anything. They are not giving us any result. So God is asking, why wouldn't you take my word? Why are you leaving the word and going to options that are leaving you worse off? One has few appendua. That God is sympathetic. He's saying, why don't we internalize the word and take the word and make it personal? He's wondering, we look worn out. We look like people who are crowding under situation and circumstances. Yet, the word is there. So if that was our journey in 2020. Then let us purpose to walk in the word, live in the word, that by the end of this year, we will look mounted up. We will look energized. We will look regenerated. And that we will not look worn out, as God is telling us. What we need, what we need as at now, is that we need to take the word that has been released in the year 2021, and the subsequent prompts, because even with the main word of Isaiah 40, that one, God will always be putting other words in between as we move on. Why? To, tell, to show you and to, tell, to indicate to you that the mounting up is still going on. And so the best thing we can do is that we take this word, which has been released in the year 2021, and now with the realization that there is so much power in the word, we combine with the prompts. We hide ourselves inside there. And God's plans, or God's plans upon our lives will be established. I want to repeat that one again. The only thing now we need is we take the word of 2021 as it has been released to us through a servant and the subsequent prompt in the course of the year. We hide that in our hearts and we move on and God's promises upon our lives will be established. I have no doubt, brothers and sisters. I have no doubt. Once we do this in simplicity, then we will see our lives changed and we will be mounting up. 
the whole year of 2021, there will be, there will be testimonies across the world. Once we do this, the promise becomes a reality in our lives. So, God is not happy and is silent to see that we are incurring losses, just as I have said earlier on, and then uh, we are getting into losses as opposed to getting the word, which is sitting idle, because I can tell you whenever we are not using the word, it is lying idle, and the word is full of profit. God does not want witness us running into losses, while we can turn to the word and get the word and personalize it and then profit. One else as if you will. I know there are businessmen here, and I don't think there is any man who projects a loss. Whenever we are doing our business plan, whenever we are projecting, we always project profit. So God is saying, why don't you immerse yourself in the word? I have already released the word. The word will run you into profit. The word will avoid losses. Yet, if we don't do that, brothers and sisters, your guess is as good as mine. We will run into losses. That is not God's desire. So as you hold on to the power in the word, let us realize this. There are a few uh, areas that we need to realize as we hold on to the word of God and the power in the word. Realize that the word is specific to us as individuals and not general. I think I will not explain that much. But what I'm saying is that God is saying, I may have released the word in general, but personalize it. It is specific to individuals and their situations. He doesn't generalize. It will work differently to each one of us. Let us not panic when we see happenings in our neighbor's life. One as if you will. Okay, well, we may not become blind, but even when we see things happening in our neighbor's life, let us not think that theirs is one which is working. If you see your neighbor mounting up physically, and you can see really this is the word of God, kindly know that your word is specific. And it has the time of manifestation. Your neighbor may mount up before you, but you are also going to mount up. One as if you will. So you need to realize that the word is specific and not general. That is why the happenings of your neighbor will be different from yours. And God knows that. Time is a factor in the word. As we trust God and we believe in the word, we have to realize that time works within, or rather, the power in the word works within time factor. While God can and has always made it immediate, God can talk like today and you see the effect tomorrow. While he has always done this, and sometimes it is immediate, the workings and the timings may not necessarily correspond with your emergencies. Sometimes we think because we are seeing, we are already in an emergency, and we think that things are so hot. It does not change God's word, program, or scheme upon your life. God will still see you through the emergency. But whatever you're expecting from the word may not come at that particular time. The word works within time. And it is going to realize this. Because sometimes you, we share as Christians. And sometimes we tell each other, it looks like God forgot me. He hasn't, brothers and sisters. He hasn't. What it is that he'll give you the grace. As the word manifests, as the word becomes a reality over the time, he will give you grace to overcome those things, like an emergency, like a crisis. He will see you through. But the word works within the time factor. One else as if you will. You know, Elijah did so much within Mount Carmel. And he killed so many prophets of Baal. But within no time, Elijah was running. And he thought that God has uh, abandoned him. How can a man do so much wonders all over the world, then within a day he's running for his life. This is not only Elijah, but we find ourselves in such a situation. So this year, as we look at the word of God and the power therein, let us realize time is a factor in the word. Time is a factor in the word. So just like Elijah, let us not find ourselves running all over and saying that God is late, he has abandoned me because at, the, at your point in time, then it will manifest. Our ability to believe in the word in absolute manner determines its effectiveness. 
our ability. You know, ability. Being in a position to do something. That is the meaning of ability. The much I can describe it here. You believe in the word and take it in. Your ability to do that, it determines the effectiveness of the word. The fact that sometimes we have options, we will always find ourselves neither here nor there within the power of the word. The power in the word may not even be manifested. Why? Because we have so many options. We are doing so many options. Brethren, your ability to believe in the word in absolute manner, it will always determine how effective the word is. Maybe even sometimes why you see, we will see our mounting up is not happening earlier as expected. It's because you have other options. God will leave you to the options. And then he will pull back his word and let you, first of all, try the options. When you take the word, take the word, the whole of it, and immerse yourself in it. You are ability to believe in the word. Then the word will start working. The options will be a hindrance to what you are doing. Many times, Actually, quite a number of instances in Jesus' ministry, whenever he could perform a miracle, because he was doing so much within a day, we are even told that if whatever Jesus did was to be recorded in the Bible, up to today, we will never have finished reading the Bible. But whenever Jesus would heal someone, whenever Jesus would even raise people from the dead, there was one general statement Jesus could make. And I would want you to put this one, someone at the back of your mind. Jesus would always tell people, go, your faith has made you well. One else has a few. Meaning, those people, even before they came to Jesus, to ask for whatever help, they had already believed in the power in the word. They were just wanting now to come because they know this is the son of God, so that the word may be activated. But he would tell them, go, your faith has made you well. And as we look at the word of God in the year 2021, both the word released to us by our father bishop, General Vasia, and the many other words that you receive from God through inspiration, and even from servants of God here, let us take that word. Let us take it absolutely. Let us take it holistically. And I can tell you this, the minute you take that, you internalize this, Jesus will tell you, Go, your faith has made you well. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because of your word. We honor you, Lord. We are here and in admission that, Lord, we are human beings in a human nature. But you sent your son to come and bring salvation upon us and our lives. Our generations to come. And, Lord, we are admitting this morning that many times you have released the word. Your son has given us salvation. You have given us the one to run every day, every second, every moment. But Lord, we are accepting that we are a sinner. Whenever you release the word, we fail to realize the power in the word, and we are running up and down. Lord, we are people who are looking worn out. We are people who are looking confused. Why? Because you have released the word. Not one year, not two years, but you have failed to, release the, to, 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 to receive the word. And because you have failed to, release, to receive the word, the power therein has not worked in our lives. The year which has just ended, year 2020, you spoke to us about restoration, which will not only happen, but it will be demonstrated. This year you have given us the word. Oh God, we are before you this afternoon. We are admitting that we will take the word. We confess that we have failed in past. We are taking the word this year and moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ. We take the word. We take the word. We take the word, the power therein, O oh Lord, to work in our lives. By the end of this year, 2021, everyone will have a testimony. Everyone will say, I have seen God. Why? Because you have taken the word. And the one that's worked in our lives, in the name of Jesus Christ. You are looking at us from heaven, even right now. And you are saying, my sons, take my word. Take my word. Take my word. And by the end of this year, we will have mounted up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our desire is one, O oh God. Our desire is one, O oh Jehovah. Our, our prayer is one. By the end of this year, O oh God, let us be in your list. The list that will say, Go, your faith 
has made you well. Because you have believed in the word, the year of mounting up, and the power therein, and our lives will have changed, oh God. Every sphere of our life, every section of our life, every corner of our life, it will have changed. And because, Lord, you will be looking at us and saying, yes, yes, you have believed in my word. And you're saying, yes, go well, because your faith has made you well. Go, because your faith has made you well. Lord, we believe in your word. We believe in the power in your word. Receive every glory. Receive every honor. Receive every adoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.